Setting up machines is the second step when getting started with ShiftWorks. FreePoint's remotes support multiple input signals, so it's important to identify which inputs correspond with machine activity and which inputs should be visualized. This setup will transfer into our products Watch Live and Narrative. To get started, go to www.getshiftworks.com and log in. Next, click on the settings icon at the top right corner of the screen. On the drop down, click on the first option labeled Manage Machine Profile. On the left, you will see a list of all your machines that you've previously registered in Cell Monitor. Machines with an orange exclamation mark require initial setup before they can be used in their products. Clicking on any machine will bring up its configuration options. The name under Machine is the name that was set up in Cell Monitor. Machine Alias is optional but gives you the option to create a more user friendly name. If defined, the machine alias will be used to identify this machine across our products instead of the machine's original name. The Choose Input dropdown defines which signal should be used to draw the blue bar's visuals. Each input on a FreePoint remote records two types of information, count and timer. Count keeps track of the number of times that the input signal has gone from state low to state high, and timer keeps track of how long that input has been held at state high. The Define Work dropdown gives you the option to draw the blue bar's visuals using either count or timer variables. Let's use the example of an input signal connected to the spindle of a vertical mill or CNC machine. In this case, the timer variable would be a good choice for setting up the machine's visuals since it displays the time that the spindle is doing work. For a machine like a hydraulic press, it may be preferable to define the work as a count to visualize each time the machine has performed a cycle. Advanced options such as defining production targets and scale factors will be covered in another video. The last thing to do for setting up your machine is to set a color to represent each input. These colors have no impact on the bar, KPIs, or anything on the main Watch Live page. The bar will always be blue, and the KPI colors are defined elsewhere. The colors on this page are only used when constructing reports for our machine, but the logistics of reporting in Watch Live will be covered in another video. Once everything is completed to your liking, click on the save icon and wait for your browser to prompt you that all changes have been made. To go back to watch live, click on the Shiftworks logo in the top left corner or select the charting options and click watch live. To learn more, please contact us at info at getfreepoint.com.